Lion. I took this from QuickTime whenever I was in Lion. I just wanted to show you guys this and let you know that I did install this myself. And the reason I wanted to make this was because I tried like three different guides. I looked, pieced them together. And even still then, I couldn't get to work. I'd do quite a bit more research and figure this thing out. It took me probably about, oh, three, four, five days of looking around, trying to figure stuff out. And of course, not all day. But um, it took me a while after I read the guide. Okay, so here's the guide. And we need to go in here to Disk Utility in the Utilities folder. And we're going to create a partition. And this is to put all the install information on for Lion. Uh, this just holds the install files. You're going to need to make another partition, however big you'd like. Probably pretty small, maybe about 30 gigabytes. Um, or even less, 20 to install uh, Lion onto. And you can do that once you get into the install also. So just make a 10 gigabyte partition here. And click apply. Let's name it Lion Install. And don't worry about messing up any of your information as long as you have free space, you're going to be fine. Um, and I love this disk utility. Uh, you have to pay 30 or 40 bucks to get something like this in Windows. Um, but that's it. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, so we're going to go into our Lion Developer Preview DMG and mount that file. We need a base system.dmg file from there. So just go ahead and open Pathfinder, and there's a 30-day free trial, so don't worry about that. And the reason we need this is to remove the invisible flags. So navigate to the mounted line install DMG, drag and drop base system.dmg into the documents folder. And I already have one in there, so I'm not going to replace it right now. Now go into your documents folder and you need to make sure that you have uh, show invisible files in Pathfinder. So you can do that by right clicking uh, within the folders and show view options, show invisible files. So right click on base system DMG, unclick the invisible flag like that and mount it. You need to make sure it's mounted in order to restore it with disk utility. Don't forget that. This is one of the problems that I had getting this all to work. And I've got to figure it out for you guys. Okay, so open disk utility. Go in there to the DMG on the left side, right click, restore, Mac OS X base system, which is the mounted part of base system DMG. Right click, click restore, click image. Navigate to documents, the base system DMG. Once again, it cannot have an invisible flag to do this. And make sure erase your destination is clicked. It should be clicked by default, so don't worry about that. Just a quick note drag and drop your line partition in there. Click restore, click your password, type your password. And sometimes it takes a little while, but uh, the last time I did it, it only took about two minutes. So. Made of gold and silk, Arabian thread But I am dead and gone and lying in a church ground Still I push my barrow all the day Still I push my barrow all the day Okay, now we need to go in here and delete the packages alias <clears throat> excuse me, from within your newly restored partition, which should be Mac OS X base system. Just FYI, uh, the delete it was not in my context menu. Go into a right click, customize menu, drag and drop the delete over to the side there, and then it will show up. Or you could just drag it to drag it to the trash can okay now we need to go into the Mac OS X install ESD which is the Lion developer preview and uh, DMG mounted 
and all we need to do is drag and drop the packages folder into your newly restored partition now. So where the packages alias was, the packages folder will now be. So drag and drop it into your new partition, into system, system, installation, and drag and drop, and confirm with your password, and it's a pretty big file, about 2.9 gigabytes. Okay, now we've got one more step in preparing this partition with all the Lion files to boot with. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to put fake SMC cakes into this partition that we've created with all the install files. So go into the Mac OS X based system, go into system, library, extensions, and beforehand you should have located your fake SMC cakes, which I've now got my own desktop. Locate that file, drag and drop, authenticate, confirm. Okay, now that that's in there, we need to fix the permissions on it. So we need to go into terminal and type a couple of commands here. Okay. So, on terminal, type in sudo. Hit enter, type your password. Just a little note here, no matter how many characters you have, it will not show your characters. Your password. Uh, type in C H O W N minus C H O W N space minus R zero colon zero. Don't hit a space and drag and drop the fake SMC text into terminal hit enter and now type chmod space minus r space 755 drag and drop the fake SMC text in terminal again hit enter I always like to type exit right here for some reason and now that is it that is the okay, here we are. We are fixing to move on into the last part of this. Preparing the iBoot USB drive to boot with iBoot into Lion. And this can be anywhere from 1 gigabyte plus. Um, it can be anywhere from 1 gigabyte plus. I think the files are really only um, are less than a half a gigabyte, so I guess it could be even that small. But anyways, I will go ahead and say that I haven't had any luck with this. I had to go into Windows and prepare it, and I will tell you Windows, the tool that you download with the iBoot, the Windows tool is absolutely easy as can be. I think there's one click to format it, and there's one click and to prepare it, so that's it. Um, this way is a little bit more difficult, but I can't get it to work. A lot of people have got it to work, though. But we need to go in here to Disk Utility. You go ahead to disk utility. Select your USB drive, partition one, and might as well choose master boot record. I've tried run, I've played around with all of them, and this was the one that I actually got to work once with. Uh, but I haven't been able to reproduce that. Um, so we need to choose MS DOS format. Click apply. Partition. Okay, and we need to know our disk name, so click on the, the partition information, and this is disk 1s1. See that right there? Disk 1s1. Okay. So, and to minimize this, we need to go into terminal. We need to locate. We need to locate uh, the iBoot folder that we downloaded. iBoot files. OK. 
Okay, go in here to iBoot. And go into the Do It to HDD folder. And we're going to get a couple files out of there. First, type sudo space. Drag Do It to hard drive over here. Space. Forward slash DEV. Forward slash. Forward slash R disk. And then the disk name, which we found out was 1s1, forward slash, space, drag this file, EFILDR, into terminal, hit enter, type your password, and you should see all this right here, this is telling you that it's good. But it, it's not working for me. And it says, it says right here, all done. You now copy iBoot e -I -E -F -I -L -D -R 20 to the target partition and unmount it to get the changes written to disk. Okay, so let's do that. It's this file right here. And drag it to iBoot. And I've tried a couple different ways of doing this. I've tried uh, dragging it, then, then unmounting it, uh, dragging it over to the disk, and then you know, clicking it when it execute, dragging it over there, unmounting it, putting it back in, and then executing it. So I don't know if you guys want to play real fast or not, but uh, go ahead. But like I said, a lot of people have had luck with this, so um, but I'm just going to go ahead and unmount it here. And give it just a minute. And then I'm going to mount it back. And go into Finder. And nothing. There should be more files here than this. So I'm going to try to execute it, see what it does. Uh, and this is what I keep on getting. But uh, it doesn't even say anything about opening that. So it's just me playing around. But uh, like I said, the one in Windows is super easy, super, super easy. All you have to do is one click to format and one click to and one click to execute iBoot and get it installed on there. And that's it. Good luck. We both go down together.